So this is the distance back I have to be for you to be able to see the bunny ears. But I'm also not in very good light, so I'll scoot closer. There we go. Okay, so this is just going to be a short video. It's not going to be very long. It's going to be a couple of announcement things for stuff that I've planned coming up and just a general um, kind of a thank you to people that have been watching. So first off, thank you to the people that have been watching my videos. Um, thank you to the people that have subscribed. Uh, as of the moment that I'm recording this, I have about 120 subscribers, so I appreciate everyone that has subscribed. Um, and anyone that has left very nice comments. Um, as I said before, comments that are a uh, constructive criticism, I am perfectly fine with. Um, comments that are, of course, compliments, you know, different things like that, perfectly fine with. Comments that are just straight up you being mean or judgmental without actually trying to, like, help with some form of an improving thing. I don't particularly like those. Doesn't mean I won't show them because it is, you know, a criticism and everything, but still. Because um, I don't want to be that person just like, oh, I only want nice comments. It's just like, well, you're free to comment, but, you know, if you start being mean, I'm not going to let you stay around in the comment section um, and such as much as I can. Uh, as I said, I've had lots of nice comments from people. I appreciate all of them, people that really like certain videos. I've had a lot of people that really like the Digimon videos when I did the Digimon uh, Adventures discussions, and now I've got the Digimon uh, Tamers discussions going on. Um, those will be continued well into uh, next year, for the most part, pretty solidly on uh, Fridays at this point, um, with all the different Tamers, and then their families, and then allies and friends that they have, and then I'll do some of the... Uh, the, uh, the villain Digimon, of course, or the, the villains that they have to deal with and that, the enemies uh, that they have to deal with in that part. Um, and uh, also at the moment, I am working on different One Piece videos. I've been doing a little bit more um, up-to-date things on uh, One Piece, kind of not quite chapter reviews because I'm not talking about everything that happens in each chapter. I'm more going over um, things that something that really interested me, like there's been a lot of stuff with the Vegapunk things going on right now that have really interested me, and uh, things with Bonnie and Kuma, as those come out, as different things come out from that, I'll probably do some more um, kind of reactions to those um, in regards to uh, Bonnie and Kuma's relationships, because um, as I've uh, stated, I don't know if I've stated this before on the channel or not, um, one thing that I do like that uh, Oda tries to do is he does try to show very um, genuine relationships and show different variations of relationships that happen between parents and children and siblings and spouses and things like that. Um, and of course friends and stuff like that because like with Sanji we've had different representations of obviously child abuse in regards to Judge to Sanji but also uh, sibling abuse in regards to the way that Ichiji, Niji, and Yonji treat Sanji and everything spousal abuse in that regard as well, which I went over quite a bit uh, of that, uh, those things uh, when I talked about Judge and Sora back when I was doing the One Piece couples. Um, at whatever point in time we get more information about any other additional couples in One Piece, I'll probably do some more videos about those. Um, uh, I've got some other One Piece videos planned that are like a series that I'm working on right now. At one point I will get back to the Straw Hat reunion videos and some uh, at one point where I go over just, you know, reuniting with some other characters down the line that they've uh, met in the new world and such. And so I've gone pretty much over um, reuniting with people in the grand line. Um, and at some point I will go over, um, like, uh, uh, if they get reunited with different enemies, clearly with what's going to happen in Egghead right now, we're going to have a confrontation again between the Straw Hats and the former CP9 members that are now CPI to zero and everything with Kaku and Luchi and everything. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but that's not really talking about that. Uh, this is not what this is for. This is just a thank you video and kind of an update for um, different things that I have in the pipeline right now. Um, I'm also working on some different videos where I talk about... Um, uh, each of the different um, rulers slash kingdoms to a degree. Well, not quite the kingdoms, but the rulers slash leaders that we've seen in One Piece. Um, so that would be, yeah, the people, you know, 
the Nafaltari family in Alabaster, the Riku family, and the Don Quixote family that have been in uh, Dress Rosa, the Ryugu kingdom, different things like that, the Neptune family there, um, other royals or other rulers or other leaders that we've seen, like the leaders in the Goa kingdom, including also like mayors and stuff like that. So that would be like Whoopslap in uh, Fuchsia Village, and that would be um, uh, Iceberg and Water 7 and such, going over just kind of like how they rule, where they got where they were to a degree, and um, how much they are either beloved or tolerated or terrified of, you know, in regard to how their uh, citizens treat them um, and those different cases. So I'll be going over those at some point in time um, as like a different series. I also have another series in the works right now where I go over some different um, animal allies of the straw hats because looking back through the series there's been quite a few of them and i do kind of want to go over those um and a little bit of like how those could be implemented down the line uh for the straw hats to be able to use them at some point in time if possible that's always up for debate depending on what Oda decides to do but that's uh one of the ideas that i have um uh once i get done with the digimon series also i'll be doing like different my hero videos that'll probably pop up in here every now and then and obviously this is going up on thanksgiving so that's why it's gratitude and everything i just wanted to give some gratitude and i don't know how many people are actually going to watch this video but you know if they do they do if they don't they don't anybody that does watch the video thank you uh it shouldn't be too long um just wanted to say thanks for everyone that's been watching the channel and stuff um and everything um I have a couple of videos that I've gotten like four, three, four thousand views, or one video that's at least gotten like that many. And I find it funny that it's one of my Mickey Mouse move, uh, movie review things that I did for uh, Mickey's uh, Once Upon a Christmas, I think, or Twice Upon a Christmas, one of the two. And the Mickey's snowed in at the House of Mouse. Like, those are some of my highest viewed videos. And I'm like, okay, whatever, that works fine. Um,. And, you know, I have some other uh, One Piece slash Disney videos that I kind of wanted to do where I do some comparisons between things that have happened in One Piece to uh, different Disney movies and such like that, just because that's the way that my brain is wired, where it's just like Disney, comics, anime, manga, music, Pixar, DreamWorks, take your pick, um, Harry Potter... Game of Thrones to a degree, um, get thrown in there. Pokemon get thrown in there. I'm playing Scarlet and Violet right now and having fun with that. I <laughs> just gonna bring it up here. I found the shiny Lechonk as like the second Lechonk I encountered. I walked behind the rock to look at something and there it was, pink, and I'm like, mine, and I nicknamed it Piglet from Winnie the Pooh. Um, some point in time, I'll end up doing a video where I talk about some other, you know, new Disney Pokemon that I've gotten or new anime-based Pokemon, uh, that I've done. I've got a bunch of Bleach-based Pokemon, like, I nicknamed them after Bleach characters and such, so I've got those. Eventually, I might do some of those videos just to kind of give it, you know, just because those are kind of fun to do. I'm also working on a bunch of different, uh, Uta-related videos because I really, really liked Film Red. To the point where it might be one of my higher rated One Piece movies just because music has always been something that I connect to and they do a great job with how they use uh, Uta's Devil Fruit in the movie in that regard. I have some uh, videos where I just want to talk about Uta in and of herself in regards to her life and then I have, because I've been listening to the songs from the movie that are the, the auto versions of the songs, um, that they use in the movie, and then they've also, the, uh, the English voice actor that they have for Uta, uh, Amanda Lee, or Emily, as uh, she is on YouTube, has, uh, done some different videos, done, like, the English versions at this point in time of New Genesis and Top Musica and, uh, Backlight, um, has done those, uh, and I've, you know, I've been listening through, like, the Japanese versions of, well, there are the auto versions with, like, the subtitles so I can, you know, the, the lyrics so I can, you know, know what the lyrics are, and I've just been very interested in like how some of the lyrics tend to play out and different images that we see in them or different images that they provoke um, in the different music videos and um, in both the Japanese versions and the new English dub versions, um, along with different things that we see about Uta in the movie. 
um, and then the couple of anime episodes and such, um, where I just want to do some videos where I break down some of those, um, not 100% the music videos themselves, that a little bit, but also the, uh, the lyrics themselves and such. So I'm, I'm working on that right now, um, in regards to just kind of what the lyrics kind of make me think of in regards to things in regards to either Uta herself or things in One Piece in general that they're referencing. And I have a whole taught music a theory that I'm working on right now that I just have not figured out how to fully explain yet um, in that regard, but I'm working on it um, in regards to like the song itself and how like the, the Devil King kind of seems to work. So I'm just kind of working on those at the moment. Um, so I kind of wanted to get the dog in here just so you could see him in the video, but I don't think he wants to come in here. Rainy, do you want to come in here? Nope. He was like, nope, I'm going to lay here on grandma's bed. Okay, fine. Yeah, whatever. Um, so that's what I have for this. That's that's about it. There wasn't really too much else I wanted to say. Just some upcoming things I'm working on. Of course, new One Piece chapters will come out. And I'll talk some more about things in that with Vegapunk or Bonnie and Kuma or other videos as well. Um, the buggy video that went up uh, yesterday. I had that in my brain for a while just because like the song Be a Clown by Cole Porter. I really like that song and I just kind of equated that to Buggy because of course he is a clown um, in so many regards. So I just wanted to do that. So that's what I have. I thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the very short little video and I hope you keep watching the channel and any, anyone that's subscribed and liked and watched the vid videos and everything and enjoyed them and everything. I appreciate it. People that have left comments. I thank you. Um, hopefully I get more of, you know, more subscribers soon, um, and everything. So thank you for watching. Hope you have a nice rest of your day. Hope you have a happy Thanksgiving or happy just, you know, whether you go and spend it with your family or not, I'm going to get to go see family. So that's fun. Um, just have, and happy holiday season coming up and everybody be safe. So bye.